Hi, wellness warriors. It's Melissa with Mental Muscle Wellness. It's beach season, and I have a workout that you can do with just a beach towel. So grab whatever one you've got, and let's get started. So what you'll need for this workout is just a beach towel. Um, what I have here is actually a Turkish towel. It's folded in half right now, but any beach towel that you have uh, that has some length to it, that gives you a good grip and that you can roll up into a rope will serve your purpose just fine. As I do with most of my strength workouts here on YouTube, I will be demonstrating uh, one set of 10 exercises. Anything that's sided, I will show you both the right and left hand sides of the body. Um, although typically I speed up the video for the second side. But let's go ahead and dive in. Whatever towel you have, what you want to do is start by rolling it up. It doesn't have to be super specific or, or on point. Basically, we're just trying to make ourselves a border on the floor. So once you've got your towel rolled into a giant tube, go ahead and throw it down on the floor. And what you're gonna do is gonna put your feet out to the side on each side, evenly spaced on the towel. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with lateral lunges with a reach. So essentially what we're gonna do is we are going to lunge and reach and lunge and reach. So the towel is basically there to guide where we are halfway. As with anything and everything that I do, lunge as deep as you feel comfortable, reach as far as you feel comfortable. So if your exercise looks more like this, that is completely okay. I have two more on each side. And back to center. So we're gonna leave our towel rolled up like this and we're gonna do some traveling push-ups. <clears throat> I'm gonna move mine so that I stay in frame for you, but feel free to leave yours wherever you have it. So essentially find a middle spot on your towel your eyes are gonna stay there, but your hands are gonna travel back and forth. So to start, place your hands on the towel, equal distant on those halfway marks. Come to your push-up position. I'm gonna do modified, because it's hard to talk and push up at the same time. <laughs> okay, and what you're gonna do is one hand at a time, you're gonna walk all the way open to the end of the towel, push down, press up, come back, and then repeat with the other hand, all the way out to the end of the towel, down and up. That is one full repetition. So again, Make sure with your push-ups, your back is nice and straight. Remember, we are inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way up. And again, if your push-up looks like this, that is completely fine. The goal here is to get the body moving, not necessarily to worry about crazy ranges of motion that may not be comfortable. So again, nice, slow and steady. Just gonna walk in your hands back and forth across that towel. Add one more on each side. Whew. 
then go ahead, take a little breather, bring your knees in, press back, do a little modified child's pose. It's hard to hold a plank for that long, so go ahead and let your lower back have a little bit of a stretch. Okay, inhale, lift the head. We're gonna come all the way up, grab your towel, keep it in the shape that we have it rolled, and we're gonna do slow thrusters. Okay, so that's a squat to overhead press combination. Bring your feet where you feel comfortable for squats. Typically, our traditional cueing for that is to have your feet shoulder width apart. Particularly for women, I find that hip width apart tends to be a lot more comfortable. Um, but anywhere in that range that you feel good, again, toes either pointing straight forward or very slightly turned out. And you're gonna grip the towel in each hand Extend your arms in front of you. Your hands should be right in front of your shoulders, okay? And then bend your elbows so that this is right in line with your chest. Stick your butt out. Remember, I always, always say that the more ridiculous you feel doing squats, the closer to correct form you possibly have. So stick your butt out, squat it down, come all the way up and overhead press back down in front of you, down and up. Take a step back because I'm not sure that I'm completely in frame here. Down, up. The great thing that I love about doing this exercise with the towel, particularly the squat version of it, is that the towel gives you a visual reminder to keep your chest up. Many of us forget that when we're doing squats and we have a tendency to roll our body forward. Down and all the way up. On your overhead press, if you look up, you should be able to see the towel slightly in front of you. If you're completely overhead, you may cause some pinching in your cervical spine, which is not what we want. And one more. And all the way up and center. <coughs> so we're gonna take our towel and we've got bicep curls coming up. So again, maintain the shape that you've got you are going to loop one end under one of your legs, try not to fall over. <laughs> and then you're gonna grip like you're gonna swing a hammer, okay? And then all you're gonna do is your leg is going to provide the resistance, the weight for this exercise. Curl up and down. This is a bit smaller of a range of motion and that's okay. The idea here is, again, we're just trying to get the body moving. Again, I like this one. This actually provides a really nice little stretch, especially after those squats, to the rear hip and glutes. two more on this side and then we'll switch sides. Okay, unwind myself. So again, loop it underneath your leg right behind your knee and 10 reps on the second side. Steady lower back down. 
And we've got tricep extensions. So again, using our little towel snake, I'm actually gonna turn around so that you can see what I'm doing. You're gonna grip one side at the top, but not quite all the way at the end. So like I have it in my hand right here. And then what you're gonna do is bring it around your back and then wherever you can comfortably reach that low hand. So you don't have to reach high and pinch your shoulder. All we want is resistance for this upper hand. You're gonna grip that towel and again, tricep extension overhead. Our top hand is what's moving. So we're going to lift and extend. And again, you'll notice that that bottom hand comes up, which is why I don't want you to grip it up as high as you can reach it already. And hopefully you can notice that this lower hand is actually pulling back a little bit, trying to provide that resistance for my top arm. Two more. slowly let go and again we're going to do the same thing on the second side so again gripping the towel somewhere near the top but not on the end bring your arm up and over low hand where you feel comfortable waist level or so and again 10 reps this side Release the towel and again take out take a second and sort of roll your shoulders once or twice back and front okay not only is that a great exercise for your triceps it's also a good stretch for your shoulders sometimes our shoulders don't like to stretch even though that's what we want them to do okay so our last two exercises going to bring the towel out in front of you again okay so again if you extend the towel all the way straight you've got your hands right in line with where your shoulders are going to be okay now this is an exercise that you can do standing or sitting or even kneeling if that's what you prefer um, i'm going to demonstrate it standing um, <clears throat> this is called a kayak row so just like you would row a kayak or a canoe that had the double-sided paddle that's exactly what this exercise is gonna look like. You're gonna extend your arms all the way out, okay? You're gonna tip down to one side, and that hand is gonna pull in. And you want your elbow to stay nice and close to your body when it pulls in. The top hand will follow. And then you'll sort of draw that figure eight shape in front of you, okay? So again, arms out in front, down and in up and around and then this hand comes down and in and up and back to square okay so again that's one full repetition make sure for this exercise that you've got a nice strong core so picture that you're pulling your belly button back in towards your spine You'll notice I have my knees bent a little bit. I find that that gives me a nice sort of stable posture. Anytime we're doing strength exercise, we wanna make sure that the things that are moving are what we want to be moving. Everything else should appear, at least from the outside, to be still and quiet. It's usually working really hard for us, it's creating that stability that we need, but we want an outsider to look at us and think, oh, her legs look like a statue or his arms are really still. Okay, 
nice concentrated figure eight pattern here. Again, the emphasis is on that pull back. Two more on each side. And shake it out, relax everything. And then this last exercise for our abdominals, we're gonna go ahead and have a seat. Now there are options that you can do here. You can leave your heels on the ground, um, which again is the option that I'm gonna demonstrate because it's hard to talk through the exercise, uh, the more core control that you need. Um, but if you've done Russian twist before and you like to keep your feet up, you also have that option, okay? So again, hands on your rolled up towel snake at your shoulder width, okay? You're gonna bring your arms in so that your elbows have about a 45 degree bend to them, okay? Lean back, again, contract that core, make sure that that belly button is pulling backwards. And you're just gonna twist from side to side, trying to get your the outside portion of your hand all the way to the floor. So it's just a simple twist and back. Again, if you like to do this exercise with your feet up, looks like this. If you'd like to keep your heels on the ground, more than fine. And as always, if this is what your twist looks like. Also cool. You know your body best. Let it guide you. Last one right here. Center and relax. I hope you enjoyed our beach towel workout. As always, if you're looking for a more extended uh, strength training, you can either rewind the video and play it back in full and do circuits, or you can pause the video after each exercise for straight sets. Thank you so much for being with me, and until next time, be well, friends.